Welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us now, we are in North Battleford City Hall. We are talking to Jim Toy, who is the newly elected president for the Canadian Association of Municipal Administrators, or CAMA for short, if you hear us talking about CAMA in this interview. So I guess, uh, Jim, what is your vision for CAMA going forward? My vision for CAMA going forward is we are going to revisit the strategic plan. Um, things are changing out there. We have to reach out to different people. We have to reach out to uh, various groups. Um, our membership has grown from 2006, 250 members, to now we're just under 500 members. So we've doubled in the last five years. And my personal goal is to ensure that we're able to uh, increase the, the number of delegates that we have, not only at our conference, but the number of residents that we have in our association. So we want to revisit the strategic plan and we want to make sure that we're still hitting the nail on the head. Um, we re really want to reach out to the international um, uh, affiliates. When we look across Canada uh, demographically, in the last couple of years, we've started to see a little bit younger crowd who are coming to our conferences. And so there's different things that we'd like to uh, look in of how we can get information to them that's going to be beneficial. For instance, we're talking about using the social network to do some things. We're talking about um, perhaps not attending seminars in Toronto or Edmonton or Saskatoon that we'll be doing some webinars that uh, we're looking at partnering with the ICMA on that. So, I mean, we're looking at partnering and we're looking at expanding our horizons, reviewing a strategic plan. Um, there's some networking issues that we want to do. Um, we just uh, signed an agreement with the Aboriginal First Nations organization. It's 1,500 members across Canada to see if there are some synergies there that we can have with that association. So what we're trying to do is not only expand our base, um, when it comes to the number of um, individuals who are part of CAMA, but we want to make sure that we're providing some return to them that, that makes them not want to be a one-year uh, member, but we want them to be a member over many years. How many years is a, is a presidential term on this board? It's, uh, it's actually a short term. It's only one year. Okay. It's a one-year term, but we, I'm also a past president for one year, so there's a little bit of continuity. So you do only get one year. I guess if you can only accomplish one thing in this next year, what is it going to be? Well, a big thing too is professional development, to, to ensure when someone gets to be a member that uh, they see something uh, deliverable at the end of the day. Uh, and you know, the 200, our fees range from the size of your municipality from $200 to $600, so it doesn't matter what you pay, that you can see some deliverable at the end of the day with that. When you're thinking as a municipal administrator at the end of the day, was that some good bang for my dollar? Can I take that $500 and spend it somewhere more wisely? We want to make sure at the end of the day that it's, it was a, a good value to be a member of CAMA by some of the different programs that we have going. Now you've also been an active member of the Urban Municipal Administrators Association of Saskatchewan. What were you responsible for on that board and how is that going to help you going forward? I, it, was, it was a good opportunity to me because that's really, um, um, I would say, the most urban municipalities in Saskatchewan are very small and it really takes you to the grassroots, what's going on, not because lots of times People think of CAMA as a big city organization, and it's not. Right, right. And I think that's that, that's very important. It's very important to me because that's that's kind of where my humble beginnings came from. I was uh, administrator in some small towns in Saskatchewan, and and finally became a city manager. And I'm I'm very thankful for the opportunity to do that. But I don't I don't forget my roots. But I, that's why I think it's important that we can offer things like webinars so they don't have to leave their municipality or can't afford to go to say right. Winnipeg or Edmonton or Calgary for an event. But they can, you know, they have access to a computer where they could partake in a webinar and find out about a best practice. Now you've been uh, a city administrator for 25 years now, I guess. W what makes a healthy community? A healthy community is a community that, uh, that communicates well. Um, that really has a look at uh, here's what the people, by communication I mean hearing what the people want, hearing what they need, um, hearing um, here's what we'd like you to do, uh, so there's got to be some dialogue back and forth but also to make sure that they're getting good value for the dollar. Now just sort of zooming in and, and focusing here on North Battleford, where do you see North Battleford going in, in the next few years? North Balford, oh, it's a very exciting time for North Balford. We've got lots going on in our community. We're building a, a close to a $50 million recreation facility. And we've got good commercial growth. We have good residential growth. We've got uh, just about a billion dollars worth of projects going on in our area right now with the $700 million Northland Power Station. The Yellowhead Power Station, it's a peaking plant, has uh, just started up uh, in December. So that's 950 plus ours. And that doesn't include, the one billion does not include everything else that's going on as far as commercial and residential activity. So it's very, very exciting. We know that there's oil and gas uh, exploration going on in our area. Um, we've talked to developers all across Canada and um, they think that uh, 
North Balford what may be a place for them to, um, to invest their money. Well, it's been a, a pleasure talking to you today, Jim. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you very much for the opportunity. This has been our conversation with Jim Toy, City Manager for North Battleford and newly elected President for CAMA, the Canadian Association of Municipal Administrators.